Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today we will be solving educational down 167b substring and subsequence. You are given two strings a and b. Okay, your task is to calculate the minimum possible length of a string that contains a as a substring and b as a subsequence. Okay, so th this is how we will start building our answer. Since we know that it contains a as a substring, that means the answer length will at least be a. It cannot be less than a. Okay. So let's try making our optimal answer. Okay. Let's take this test case a, b, a and c, b. Okay. a, b, a and c, b. So now since it needs a to be a substring which means my answer will contain a b a for sure now it needs to contain b as a subsequence subsequence now b in a b a means b is a subsequence in a b a b c in a b a c means b c is a subsequence in a b a c that means the meaning of subsequence is that b c is present in a b a c not necessarily continuous b and c are not continuous but they are present in the same order as they are in b c hence b c is a subsequence present in a b a c okay so now i need the length of my generated substring to be as minimum as possible so what will I think? I will think that first I need to see that what is the maximum length of subsequence of B which is already present in this string. If I can get that which means that I will know that how many letters from B are already present in A. After that I can just add the remaining ahead or behind and increase my answer like for example in this test case I can see ki B is the longest subsequence that is present in ABA okay so I only need to add one character C okay now you cannot solve this question by finding count of each character of B since in subsequence your letters must be in same order as their R and B. Okay. So, how should we find our length of maximum subsequence? First of all, take a careful look. Value of n is just 100, which means we can easily use n square complexity and solve this question. So, this is how I will check for maximum length of subsequence. Now, Whenever we want to find the maximum length, we always try to use two pointers. And this is how we will use that technique over here. Let's say you have a string A, B, C, some, some string. And you want to find the length of maximum subsequence that is present in some other array. Means some other string. So first I will try for each subsequence that starts from here which means I will start from A and then check one one ahead that which is the longest subsequence which is present in my answer okay once I find that I start from B and try to find again like in the first test case you had A B A and C B C is not present over here but B is so, while finding the maximum subsequence, if you have some random string, it is possible that some string from the between is your maximum subsequence. So, to find the length of maximum subsequence, you can easily brute force from each index. Like for this CCD, you will be starting from i is equal to 2 and going on ahead and ahead checking how many letters you find in A and then the maximum of all of these subsequences will give your length of maximum subsequence and after you find it 
the answer would be a dot length plus b dot length minus length of maximum subsequence a dot length because i told you earlier a must be present as a substring now i will find the length of maximum subsequence b that is present in a and then if there is some random subsequence let's say this one then i can add the elements behind and ahead behind and ahead of a okay so i'll explain you the code you are starting from each i index okay you are starting from each i index then you are iterating complete a and this is how you check subsequence if you found a character match then you increment the index of the subsequence that you are searching and continue searching and then you will get c ans as the length of maximum subsequence that is present in a and then you have to set the max of it to answer and then your final answer would be s dot length plus t dot length minus answer okay so thank you guys for watching make sure to like and subscribe the video to never miss another tutorial